Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about flying your airplane and attending a corn roast. Now, I flew up from New Orleans and landed here at Brookville, Ohio, parked in John and Ruth Mitre's front yard at the Brookville Air Park in Brookville, Ohio. And it wasn't a hard house to find. You just fly and land on the runway, taxi to the end, cross the road, and park in their yard. But anyway, I flew from New Orleans up there to them about 600 miles because we were going to fly up the next day to Lansing, Michigan and attend a corn roast at Chuck Pantera's up in Lansing, Michigan. So stay tuned while we talk about all the fun we had. So we would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Now, once we got up to Lansing, John and I walked right over to the Luna Moth and had our picture taken by it. Chuck Pantera has this priceless airplane parked in his yard, and he lives on an air park, grows corn behind his house, and the runway is right in front of it. So it was really nice to go and attend the party, see the house. And again, this is in the middle of summer, August of 1994, and they offered me to go inside in the air conditioning because... They thought it was a little warm being 75 degrees outside in the shade, but it was wonderful for me because coming from New Orleans, we only see 75 in the shade in the middle of winter. So anyway, again, a corn roast in Chuck Pantera's up in uh, Lansing, Michigan, and then here are all the Grumman's parked on the flight line, and then... You know, you get to see all the airplanes that showed up for the corn roast. Now, flying from New Orleans, I flew right over the University of Southern Mississippi, and here it is in Hattiesburg, right off the interstate. Just, again, flew right over it. Could spot the Matt building and the Rose Garden and married student housing and everything. So quite a treat for me because Hattiesburg was right on the path between flying from New Orleans all the way up to Brookville, and I got to see Birmingham and Nashville and all the other places. So anyway, once we got to the corn roast, here's what the crowd of people who flew in from around the Great Lakes up to Chuck Pantera's. Now, Chuck Pantera was the regional director of the Great Lakes. I had moved up to Ohio next year in 95, and in 96, I would take over as regional director of the Great Lakes, and Chuck Pantera could spend all his time concentrating on his wife's failing health. So we had a good time. Got to see some fires on the way up through Mississippi. And here's a slightly different view of the flight line. You can see the two seaters and the four seaters, and by traveler down the line with its brand new paint job that we had just finished in July of that year. And then just some houses in the Lansing, Michigan area flying over, just shooting down colorful cars on the parking lot. But again, getting to look at the air. Um, getting to look at the ground from the air in an airplane is something a lot of people don't get to see. Now at the beginning of the flight, here's what you get to see. You get to see my car parked in front of my hangar at Kilo Papa Charlie Uniform, the old Picayune Airport back in the day, runway 6 and 24. But there was my 1977 Jaguar uh, parked in front of my traveler uh, in my tea hangar with the dirt floor kind of hard to work in and then here's a better picture up in Lansing Michigan of the Luna Moth that uh, the Panteras have in their backyard open cockpit nice airplane experimental and then here's another over-the-air shot showing John's house with parking in his front yard and his car in the driveway and the runway right there you just cross the road and you come across the runway you taxi into the grass you go between those trees and bazam you're in the front yard and ready to park at in Brookville and then here's another shot of USM and the married student housing that was a uh, near the stadium in Hattiesburg Mississippi and while we were flying overhead, even concentrated in the upper left-hand corner there, the math building and the beautiful rose garden that sat right in front of it. I was a math major for my master's at University of Southern Mississippi. And then going back to the old days, here's the panel of the Lunar Moth, a wooden panel. Not much to it, but how much do you need when you're having fun flying in an airplane like that? So again, a Lunar Moth, it's an experimental fabric-covered airplane. Very nice to see. Now you can apply that panel, uh, you compare it to the panel in my Traveler. And notice I have my Magellan Pioneer GPS on the yoke right there. I had a Loran, but uh, GPS was just coming out. And here's the 
Pantera house right off the airport, and you can see all the corn behind the house. And again, this is in Lansing, Michigan. Beautiful climate up there. And then on my way back home, here's what Picayune Airport looks like when you're coming in on final for runway 24. I'm sorry, runway 23, you're coming in, and you get to look out over the town and see the rain shafts falling in the distance, and in some areas you get to see some smoke coming up from wildfires, but again, how many people get to see a rain shaft falling from the sky? You know, when you think it rains, you think it rains everywhere, but as a pilot, you learn that's a spot of rain over there, and I'm either going to go through it or I'm going to go around it, and then of course you have to sometimes deal with weather. You have to watch the clouds, which you want to block your visibility, take you from VFR to IFR. And then again, here's another picture of the University of Southern Michigan in Happy Verde, Mississippi, shot from the air at about 5,000 feet. And here's the Tiger and the Traveler that we went up to Lansing and parked on the ramp at the airport in Lansing, Michigan. John and Ruth 117 Lima Whiskey and mine 6244 Lima. And then here was the very outdated panel of state of the art back in the day in 94 in the tiger and then when i stayed up at john and ruth's house i would always stay in the spare bathroom where that pattern on that uh, blanket right there is called ruth's circle she drew that as a child and one of her relatives made it into a quilt and then here's a picture of 117 lima whiskey john and ruth's tiger parked in the yard so ladies and gentlemen here's what it was like going up to brookville to fly up to lansing michigan for a corn roast we hope you found all this useful and informative thanks so much for watching appreciate it and have a great day flying your grumman